Hi, I'm Justin Pritchard, and this is the Mazda MX-5, or the Japanese Roadster Superstar, formerly known as the Miata. The Miata moniker is gone, but what's remained is the same balance of performance, economy, and top-down fun that have made this little topless Mazda a smash hit since being introduced back in 1989. Now in its third generation, it's more powerful, friendly, and safe than ever, but the fun-to-drive stuff remains. The test car was one of 105 special edition models fitted with an optional power retractable hardtop. It's a three-piece solid roof that power folds at the press of a button and it can be ordered to replace the MX-5 standard cloth roof. The special edition also includes an icy blue paint job accented by chrome trim and xenon lights. Underlying MX-5's friendly face is the overall impression of a small body upon a much larger platform. It's a look that shouts stability and poise, and it's not an empty threat. Inside, heated saddle leather seats are included with baby blue stitching. The interior features four cup holders, a great looking set of instruments, a leather trim steering wheel with audio controls, and a Bose stereo system with CD changer. It's notably easy to enter and exit, and it offers above average levels of at-hand storage for a roadster. Engineers have specified a 2-liter 4-cylinder engine with 166 horsepower sent to the back wheels by a 6-speed manual transmission. An automatic is available, but if you can't drive standard, this car is worth learning for. The shifter is one of the best you'll ever lay your hands on, and the transmission works well with a peppy engine to turn in plentiful acceleration and great mileage. Most cars this much fun have a bit of a drinking problem. A limited slip differential is standard on the SE model, helping to generate tremendous cornering grip that's also aided by the car's near-perfect weight balance between the front and rear axles. In all, few cars generate as purely entertaining a driving experience as the MX-5. Calling it a go-kart would be an understatement, and despite its handling, it doesn't ride half bad either. The only complaint in this area deals with the tendency for the steering wheel to jerk violently over bumpy surfaces. In all, Mazda successfully replicated the economical top-down driving thrills of many European roadsters from back in the day, minus all the reliability issues in catching fire. If you're considering a weekend getaway machine for two that won't break the bank, be sure to take one for a test drive. Thanks for watching.